Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Now as you can see I uh, leveled up my uh, guy a bit. I finally got my extra holster. Don't know if I should focus down on one of these two. Because I didn't really notice anything about the health regeneration too much. I leveled up my other dude. The other dude, uh, Vetra and uh, Drek. So I got them taken care of. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess I should collect that. I look at it every time and I'm like, eh, do I need that? And yes, yes I do. A plant? Okay, that's just a plant. The golden wastes. This is where Chief Reynolds died. Sandstorms could have buried the body long ago. I suggest scanning. Alright. Oh, I actually hit H this time. Ah! That doesn't look good. Well, hello, bugs. Pathfinder, there is an armor piece buried deep. A leg bracer. Scan indicates tissue and bone fragments clinging to it. DNA identified as Chief Reynolds. Indications suggest his body was torn to pieces. So the chief became Karkin food. Karkin's gotta eat. The remaining armor will be scattered, or perhaps brought to a nest. The chest piece and his omni tool may explain his death. Then we keep searching and scanning. Anyways, um, now that I got my final like weapon holster upgrade, that means I have a weapon weight capacity upgrade, which means more cooldown. Well, I guess it'd be less cooldown, but you know what I mean. More of the less. Another armor piece, Chief Reynolds' helmet. The search continues. Traces of human hair follicles. Oh, that's because it's a human. Okay, I, th I was thinking it was a Turian. I like hoodoos. Play it right, you could trick a thresher right into one. Thresher? Wish. Water and weather. Nothing tougher in the long run. <sighs> thresher. <laughs> Terrifying. Pathfinder, the scanners picked up Chief Reynolds' chest piece, confirming single shot. Unable to determine weapon type, but entry point was at the back. Exit blast through the chest. So I was right! By all accounts, Nilkin was in front of the Chief when he fired. So it wasn't his shot that killed him. The Chief's Omni tool might shed some light. Nexus issued chest armor, DNA traces confirmed Chief Reynolds in addition to corrosion. The armor has sustained impact blast damage. How's my life support? Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> this is why I don't want to explore yet. Pathfinder, the remnant have altered the landscape ahead. Remnant? Mm. What the cat fight the remnant? I don't really mind. Picking up additional armor scraps. I believe it's a trail leading to a cave nearby. Could be where the nest is located. In flesh and bone, buried beneath the sand, minor scraps of Nexus issued armor. Alright. Aha. Uh -huh. The thing I actually kind of missed despite being all the way over there. It's a carcan nest, alright. Fan out. Can't see anything. Freaking drag, drag. Oh, dang! Yep. Can't see shit. My flashlight's broken, isn't it? This will work, I guess. Confirming initiative equipment, including Omni tool assigned to Security Chief Hiram Reynolds. If you power it up, I can exhume its data. So. Where's the Omni tool? Oh, I have to search it. Accessing data. The Chief was scanning at the time of death. 
The scan picked up two shots. Hmm? One, a standard initiative rifle report, which missed. The other from behind, a cat pulse weapon. That's it, Milton didn't shoot rebels. So it would seem. Seems clear to me. Good work. Pathfinder, there is also an audio recording. Go ahead and play it. No! Where's <laughs> Nilkin? Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. Shit. Son of a bitch. Confirming. Voice identified as suspect, Nilkin. So he did not kill the chief. But he meant to. Need another chat with the man. Son of a bitch. So he's a traitor. Well, not really a traitor. A murderer, after all. But he did it not for the wrong oh, reason. I detect a cat camp ahead. Let's we'll go fight some cat. I need to clear my head a little. This is the cat. You're not a cat. Where's a cat? Or is it just... Oh, he might have just said that because I was going in this direction. Whoa. What is this? Oop. I was unable to extract much, but it appears the cat received a nav point from these remnant cores. Can you get the nav point too? Partially. I require another core to complete the string. Is this a freaking... Cat building or ship? Never did see a spaceship of spaceship of cat yet. Oh, cat! Or not? Well, I can scan this because I need another one. Sam, anything? I extracted the nav point the cat used, adding it to your system. Oh, a container. Let's find out what these cat are after. Huh. I would, but I'm kind of, you know, losing life support, which once again, this is the reason why I don't want to explore too much. No, I must not give in to temptation of wanting sweet loots. At least not yet. We've got targets. Where? Where? Ryder, you're going crazy. The sun's getting to you. So Oh god. Do I say yeah, he was in the right or no, he was in the wrong? I don't I don't know. Because he did murder him. But if he didn't do it, everybody would have died. I'm at a loss here, guys. Because it's obvious I'm going to have a choice now. Because they, they made it that obvious. He didn't kill him. But it was an attempted murder. But he didn't kill him. Let's do this. And because he didn't really kill him, he didn't not kill him for a good reason. <sighs> I hope I can give the option to explain like uh, both problems here. If I can't be like, okay, he attempted murder, but he didn't murder him. No man can be called here. All right, can I just drive up this or? No, yes, maybe. Nope. <laughs> ah! Okay, that doesn't work. That didn't work. 
That didn't work at all. <laughs> oh, God. PB's been looking for you. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I gotta go talk to them. I need to go to my loadout station because now I have to look at my new armor piece to see what it does. Combat power, weapon damage, compared to weapon headshot. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll take the cat armor. Um, I have now have a fourth weapon slot, more recharge power, which, hold on. Does it go further? No, this is the threshold, so that is, there's no reason to go any further than that. Got it, got it. New shotgun, that's right. I forgot. Ouch. So it starts getting negative after that. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. Shotgun receiver and shotgun spare clip. So, do I like... I also like how I can have multiple assault rifles on me. That's, that's interesting. It's, that's all, just interesting. Uh, if I have the shotgun, wouldn't I be better with an SMG, maybe? Because like, I already got one for like medium range combat. If I go any more, it'd be kind of weird. Let me just see how much it'll weigh me down. 100%? Interesting. Um, well, since I'm carrying a pistol and a submachine gun, which I'm going to be used for close encounters, because I'm not going to be really using the shotgun that much. I feel like, and since this is, oh, these things are, if I remember from, like, the third game, I'm going to need that clip extension. Oh. That was loud! <sighs> now, PB, PB. Where was PB again? Drak's not in there. And I also need to talk to... What's her face? Cora? Cora, Cora, Cora. I was just listening in on that as I was doing things. Uh, did I need to talk to Vetra? Did I talk to Vetra? I think I talked to Vetra. I need to talk to Cora. At least I know where Cora is. So let's go there. Oh! This is what you and Ryder do for fun. Explore weird vaults that try to kill you. I deserve a raise. So, Jack, what are you doing here? I'm curious. I've seen a lot of shit in my life, but that vault certainly was a first. Things are gonna be interesting with you around, kid. I didn't ask for this. I tried my best. Doesn't matter what life throws at me. It's what I make of it, right? You keep that going, you just might live as long as I have. Minus zero at the end. <laughs> Talk, tell me about Spender. I saw Spender earlier. He was talking to Cash's assistant. That scrawny little assistant of hers, Dal. She sure doesn't like him either. I might help her. I've only seen him talk to her once, and I get it. Most people who meet him hate him. It's only a matter of time before he does something that'll put the Nexus in danger. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, yeah. Okay, talk to you later. We can talk more later. Sure. Strike team ready for deployment. Oh, does that mean it completed one of the missions? Or did I? Yeah, I already know all this. Hey! Jeez. Could 
have sworn. I could have sworn that was already taken care of, but whatever. Oh yeah, Core's in the other room. Derp 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 derp. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. Food first! Sorry. Let's get everyone fed before we start flower gardens. Fair. But everyone around here has dreams. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari Commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. That was kind of cold. Wow. You fight side by side and then she gives you the brush off? It hurt. One big kick out of the nest. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into huntress grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What appealed you to? What part of that vision I mean, made what you appealed to you? Plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place. Even AI. Or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me, that's okay? Dad could inspire people. He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. <laughs> I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. None of this is fair. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. <laughs> yeah, that seems about right. Now, I cannot, for the love of me, remember where PB is. Where did she take residence at? I don't remember. Did she take over the crew quarters? Did she take over a little to the right? Lexi! So we have a stowaway. You mean PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. Right! You don't need a psychologist to tell you. That one's got commitment issues. Escape pod! The one place I never would have looked! How did you get into medicine? My mom was a dancer on Omega. Hmm? Dad was a bouncer. I'd patch him up after busy nights. Discovered I had steady hands. They put every credit they earned into my education. Oh. Are they here in Helios? No. Both died in a turf war. Made leaving the Milky Way behind easier. Oh. Tell me about memory fragments. I need to talk to you. About something private. Of course. That's what I'm here for. When Dad died, he blocked off parts of Sam's memory. Things he didn't want me to see. Or he thought you weren't ready for. Maybe. I found this... trigger? It unlocked a... memory fragment of Dad on the Citadel. From when the Alliance rejected his ideas about AI. And he found out Mom's illness was terminal. Why do you think your father chose this specific memory? <sighs> I don't know. Who knows? Dad's always been one for secrets. But he's sharing them with you now. 
That's something. Tell me about morale. How's it doing? How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. Uh, tell me about a human crew. How do you think the human crew members are handling things? There's a lot of them. Oh, I don't feel like going through all this. Thanks for the insight. What about joining the Hi Hyperion? So, how did a sorry doctor end up on the human arc? Specialist in alien anatomy, remember? That includes humans. Also, Harry insisted. Maybe he always intended to switch jobs. What's your friendship with Harry? How long have you and Harry been friends? I remember when he didn't complain about arthritis. We met at a medical convention on the Citadel. He was moderating a panel on neurosurgery in low-gravity environments. His name card was crooked, but he was so damn confident I knew we'd be friends. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. I'll talk about the patients another time. I don't want to just... You saw me struggle trying to find one person. I don't want you to suffer anymore. Yes. You're oh. setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice, out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Slow down, will ya? Does your brain ever take a breath? <laughs> Sorry, not really. Even my dreams are in time-lapse. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana to simple but loving parents, just trying to... I look forward, not back, writer. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field, while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Just got tired of yawning back home. <laughs> Uh, just try sleeping more. Maybe you just needed more sleep. We were out for 600 years. A special someone made the trip with me, and she woke up a different person. I've slept enough. Ryder, the Milky Way was so... Been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. That's all I need to know, really. Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. <laughs> Yes! I'm number one! Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. Then again... I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned. Which you're gonna love, by the by. Mm -hmm. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. Remnant tech looks pretty cool, so I am interested. I'm gonna talk to you again, because... Uh, well, as long as you're not in the way, I guess it's not a big deal. I really hope you're not too out of the way if we ever need this. Last thing we need is a... What is with your face? It seems so much wider. You again. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? Oh, no. Tell me about the remnant. What drew you to the remnant? Are you kidding? It's evidence of a sophisticated species no one knows anything about. It doesn't get more intriguing than that. There's so much to discover. I want to be the first to figure them out. And the tech, it's on a different scale. If we can appropriate it, who knows what advances we'll make. Okay. Anyone special? You mentioned you came to Andromeda with someone. Nothing gets by you. Guess that's why you're the Pathfinder. Just a friend. Now she's not even that. Oh. It's better to venture into the unknown without restraints or entanglements. Sounds lonely. Don't think? I don't know. Don't friends and loved ones make all the effort worthwhile? I've always been self-motivated. Don't need much more than curiosity to drive me forward. And what's your current project? You really won't tell me what you're working on. That's right. Next question. Oh, I don't like that. What was it like for you on the Nexus? Well, I wasn't supposed to be woken up yet. That ex-friend I mentioned, my accomplice, she finagled my early thaw. So I kind of lived off the grid. Snuck around, bullshitted my way onto excursions off station. After I found my first remnant ruin, I started, uh, 
borrowing shuttles. After that, I didn't spend much time on the Nexus. I even missed most of the revolt. Impressive. I hope you returned those shuttles and didn't blow them up. That's probably what I would end up doing. So how do you like the team? Interesting bunch. I get a good feeling from Petra. Not your typical military-minded Turian. Liam seems a lively one. I expect he'll surprise me. Drek is, well, old. Wonder if he can still learn new tricks. What about... Gil smacks of complication. Might take some unraveling. Cal and Suvi seem busy. I hope they aren't all work, work, work. <sighs> Who's left? Well, there's... Oh, right. Cora. What's her deal? Is she as prim and proper as she comes across? My turn to talk? Oh, is it my turn to talk? Huh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I should work on my motor. You might find that people reveal themselves more freely if you give them a chance. Cora included. Really good advice. There's also Lexi, our doctor. She's in a sorry. Oh, I'll get around to her. All in all, seems like a decent bunch. All right, leave you to it. You're off the hook, BB. Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. Ah, I can't believe you're not going to tell me your project. The remnant tech looks really cool. Strike team ready for deployment. Well, I thought there's something was going to happen here, but I guess not. Ah, uh, Remnant Tech. And I'm 10 away from it, and I still can't do that. Also, this sweeper thing with the three shot bursts, I hate it. I don't like it. Because I have this in the multiplayer. I, I, I don't... It's not very good. It has too small of a clip to be of any real use. But I will be ending the episode here. Uh, in case you guys were suffering enough. So, uh... <laughs> Alright. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you guys all in the next episode. Alright? Bye.